If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bofina One, bringing you guys yet another YouTube video. So, yes, you read that title correct. I'm going to talk about PewDiePie's shadow ban that happened a few days ago. So, as I said, suppose you PewDiePie was shadow banned. This was pretty much when you search up a user and his channel did not appear. So like, let's say you would type in Bofina One and like my channel did not appear, it would look as if it was taken down or whatever the case is. Only videos that were showing were those from a year ago. So due to this, you know, a lot of PewDiePie fans had reached out to him, you know, probably messaged him on Twitter, whatever, all his different social medias and were like, hey, what's going on? Did YouTube take down your channel? And PewDiePie then posted his community tab stating that his latest video was not going to people's sub boxes. YouTube then told people on Twitter that it, that it does not shadow ban any channel. And a lot of this could be because of the system flagging the recent uploads. So for those you don't know who are not necessarily like YouTube like content creators, like you're not looking from the content creation side, when you upload a video, especially for someone like PewDiePie who is receiving monetization, meaning that he's actually getting money for his videos, um, if, a, if when you upload it, it has to a lot of time be viewed by like a YouTube person or, or bot or whatever, um, if it's flagged. So meaning that if it's not like monetization friendly or ad friendly, they end up having to review it. So if the content is flagged, it has to be reviewed before it can appear into the search box. And due to the whole coronavirus, as many of you know, a lot of services have been a lot slower. So it's the same thing for YouTube, like them being able to go through and, and look at these people's videos you know, all the way through, even halfway through is a lot slower now than what it has been due to coronavirus. People are not in the office as much. Just everything now is taking a lot longer than it would prior to COVID. However, one thing I did want to mention or bring up about this is that it is kind of strange to me that everyone's assumptions that they deleted his channel. Um, and I know that some people's channels have gotten deleted before, but typically, I mean, the reason why people's channels do get deleted is because of like copyright strikes, you know, community, like stuff that's happened multiple times is usually not just because, oh, out of the blue, we just delete your channel. That hardly, I would say, ever happens within the uh, YouTube community. So the fact that people automatically assume that, oh, it was just, he was just deleted. As well as, you know, with a platform as big as YouTube with so many content creators, so many um, users, like, you know, like users actually have channels. Plus you have people that don't actually like have a an account but they still use youtube they like you have a lot of people like even me i used to do this before i made my own channel on youtube i used to watch certain people on youtube and i would just memorize their names because i watched them so much so i would just search them up on the search box and then go to their channels maybe every day or the other day to see if they uploaded new content so you have a lot of quote unquote i guess anonymous users that do that as well so i i would think at least from my perspective i would think that it is very possible that um youtube could have just had like a malfunction like there could have just been something that happened wrong i mean a lot of sites when they have a large flux of people or users that are constantly on it all the time they do have like outages stuff that goes wrong and with pewdiepie channel being as big as it is you know with him having so many millions of subscribers and getting so many millions of views that is the case plus i do think it would be kind of strange that they would just shut down pewdiepie's channel with that man making so much money. And granted, he has made mistakes in the past that has affected the whole YouTube community, but I am making the point that he has quite a, still a big fan base where he's bringing in a lot of revenue for YouTube. So to me, that would be crazy to just, sh I think, shut down his channel, especially if they're looking at it from a monetization standpoint. But let me know what you guys' thoughts about this whole like PewDiePie shadow ban. Everybody was freaking out about it. Let me know what you guys' thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fen Army.